Hey, what is going on, Couch Potatoes? Thank you for joining me once again on Christopher's Couch. As always, I am the one and only Christopher, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you a reaction and review to Baruto episode 11. You guys, we're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into this dark chakra, or what they're calling ghost. Got something in my eye, jeez. Oh, man, but um, yeah, so we're getting closer and closer, deeper and deeper into this dark chakra, AKA ghost. And this episode, I hope we find out some more information about it. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, I wanna see some more Team Migos. That's, in case you guys didn't get the memo, that's what I'm gonna be calling uh, Shikadai, Boruto, and Mitsuki. I'm calling them Migos, except they're all, they're all named Quavo because they're all good. And Quavo, in my opinion, is the only good one or at least the only one I'll spend time listening to. So can't wait to see what the Migos got in store for us this episode. But without further ado, let's dive right in to some more Doc Chakra, some more ghosting. Let's get it. Sardai not looking real cool standing over there, man. I swear Sardai that looks like she'd fuck somebody up. Like in real life, like for real, for real. The me ghost. Naruto isn't looking too happy. お前のクラスメートを襲ったのにな。帰れないの力を限界まで失っていた。いいか。これまでの事件でお前たちが無事に住んでいたのは単に運が良かっただけなんだぞ。うん、ガキの探偵ごっこじゃ済まされなくなって
Man, his shadow clones are completely different from uh, Naruto's clone. Quavo. Quavo again. Last but not least, Quavo again. Sherlock Psy on the case. This man, Naruto, he got time to go get ramen, but he doesn't have time to stop by the house and see his family? That ain't right. That's just not right. Sort of like how you was. Yep. This boy said, Lord Savior. This man got the whole crew. Oh man, this man even got Cho 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 Metal Lee Iwabi Oh yeah, this is this is about to be interesting. <clears throat> These boys played this guy. But who is it though?
Veruta already whooped some ass, boy. <clears throat> they let the dude get away. This this man is paper bending, you guys. What the what? Think of all them paper cuts. This guy must be related to Conan. The dedication to this man's job. What? Oh, they about to punch the shit out this man. Baruto need to follow that trail is what he need to do. And it still got away. Okay. Come on, Metal Lee, show us something. Come on, Metal Lee. is where's Mitsuki? Come on, Miski. Come on, she could die. You already know who it is. It's Miski.
Oh, I ain't gonna lie. That kind of looked like uh, that kind of looked like the third Hokage's monkey, a little bit, in my opinion. I would say that this episode was actually okay. I think um, the last few minutes of it was probably, well, definitely the best part of it. But basically, in this episode, Team Migos was uh, going around, still doing their paper trail thing, you know, their paper route, still looking, still looking for uh, the ghost to appear. And the ghost does appear, but the ghost is appearing sort of a little bit away from them. So one of them actually realized that maybe they're being followed. Like maybe whoever is unleashing this ghost knows their route and knows where they're going gonna be so they can avoid making an appearance for the ghost to be in that particular spot so I thought it was cool I thought it was clever I mean I'm gonna say that I feel like Baruto definitely might seem to I think Baruto actually might end up no okay I'll just say it. I think Baruto right now is definitely a lot smarter than uh then naruto when naruto was that age in my opinion i don't know about y'all but that's what i think um yeah that's what i think and basically i don't know i wish we like i guess we won't see until the 20 exams but i would really like to see where baruto stacks up when it comes to you know intelligence compared to other people you know in the tuning exams for naruto you know we saw him go up against neji who's like one of the smartest people i would say neji is probably equal maybe a little bit less as far as iq than shikumaru was um so i wish there was a way for us to see i mean we know she could die smart as hell but i wish there was a way for us to see exactly how smart is baruto but i can tell you right now i definitely feel like he is smarter than what naruto was at that age but they come up with a plan to capture try and capture the person that's releasing the ghost and it seems to be going well but then he escapes they're fighting the uh the mailman buru uh the person in charge of the mail this man's throwing paper everywhere i would have been too afraid of all that paper cutting you got uh what was that guy named teori or uh teori or something like that who was you know who takes his job to heart he must i mean i guess the dude must really love his job if he is willing to go save a box an inanimate object but i guess that package does belong to somebody you never know what it could have been it could have been a playstation 4 that somebody was sending to another person in that village you never know so i respect that guy and he didn't get a scratch on him like whew, big ups to him but while they're fighting him the assailant or the person that's actually releasing the dark chakra ends up meeting up with uh ends up meeting up with another set of team that was waiting for him you know chocho metal lee mitsuki all of them waiting for them um i, for I forgot the other person's name uh i forgot for for a moment i i really can't think of size son's name i'll get it probably by the end of this uh review but 
um, yeah, they were waiting for him, and I thought we was gonna get to see some action. Like that would have been cool to see at least one of them go hand to hand with uh, this assailant, but we didn't. Even for a moment, we thought that May Metal Lee was gonna catch up to him and probably, you know, throw some, <laughs> throw some shits down on this man, give him a, 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 some free smoke. But nah, that didn't even happen. But what did happen was they ended up losing him, and we see that Mitsuki and uh, ends up rendezvousing where the assailant is and he pretty much lets him go i mean we all know how shady and snaky mitsuki is just like his dad just like he seems to be but i don't know that's kind of annoying me like don't you just hate when you have a snake in the grass right in front of you like your own peer your own family could be your own friend it could be any of those things but you just you never know and they're right there in front of you that shit that's, that should just be annoying the hell out of me. Um, but, yeah, Mitsuki ends up letting him go. So they pretty much, I mean, today, their mission just was a bust. Um, earlier in the episode, I did like how Shino was taken up for the team Migos um, when, Baru, when Naruto was telling them, you know, this isn't, you know, this time for y'all to stop being kid detectives like stop being a detective this is a grown-up's job now and shino came to their rescue and he i mean he basically told naruto you know i have faith in them i know what they're capable of they saved my life um so i'm willing to put my life on the line for these guys and i, I thought that that was pretty cool i mean we don't really just see anybody talk to naruto like that even though we sh i mean we shouldn't really just care I i'm pretty sure anybody could talk to naruto like that he's too kind to actually just like, now, if it was Sasuke, then he probably would have got kicked in the stomach or a Chidori to the back of the neck or something. Who knows? But, yeah. Um, so, like I said, I thought that this episode was okay. The final, like, the final seconds, I don't know what that was. It looked like a monkey that was talking about releasing something. Uh, I don't know what the hell was going on right there, but I swear it kind of resembled one of like the monkeys that the third hokage summons you know someone that the third hokage had a contract with so i don't know um i don't know who uh, it looked like a monkey to me though no lie to me it looked like a monkey but uh maybe y'all saw something completely different but the previews for next week where we're gonna have baruto and miski you know having their little chat and miski i don't know they're making us think miski is gonna tell baruto what's going on but i doubt that that's what's gonna happen but if he turns out ending up telling him what's gonna happen i can't wait to see baruto's reaction or if he'll even take miski serious i doubt it he probably think miski is being sarcastic or something like that but definitely looking forward to it i hope you all enjoyed my reaction i hope you enjoy my review as always please like comment subscribe share and until next time i will catch y'all on the flip side deuces